<laughs> I had a friend of mine who got put under house arrest when we were in high school. And this guy, he got put under house arrest. He stole a motorcycle and led some cops in wild goose chase, caused a couple of the cruisers to crash. Wow. He, we, this is when we were senior in high school, right? This mm-hmm. dude ended up being a sniper in the Marines. But so he gets house arrest. So me and my friend, my other friend, we want to go see him. And it's we're in Massachusetts and it was winter. It was, so it was the time of year where like 5.30 is dark. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we walk up to his house and it's pretty dark except for one muted light upstairs. But the front door is open. And I'm, I'm, like, I'm about to walk in. And my buddy goes, no, 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 don't walk in. So from the bot, from outside, before we walk up the steps, he goes, Greg, it's us. And the light turns on. He was just waiting for someone to break in. He was sitting in there with a gun. <laughs> he was just waiting for someone to break in. He It was so, a bait house. He left the door open. As oh. a senior in high school. <laughs> he was like, I was like, what are you doing, dude? He was like, I'm bored. I'm under house arrest. I'm like, so you thought you'd set up a trap to shoot somebody? And he was like, what else am I going to do? I'm like, I don't know. Watch TV. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Right? <laughs> well, well, I'm doing that at the spots. same time. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the rest of us do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, uh, it, you know, that dude was special. It, that chase, he led those, he lived in a small town. But that chase what was around, he on? Is he in a car? They chased he was in a motorcycle. A motorcycle. He's a motorcycle. Everybody, They're hard to catch. Stephen Randolph. That's the other comic tonight. What's up, Steven? Dark Shadows. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like, I lived in a small town, though. I remember shooting AKs that he got in the mail and put together. Hmm. Um, legal. What's that? Is that legal? Can you get I, an AK in the mail? Uh, it wasn't automatic. Automatic. It was a uh, semi. And I think you can still order them through the mail, just not put together. He used, used to order guns and put them together. We used to have neighbor who had cars. Like was he, he a was licensed kicker. firearm manufacturer? Mm. By chance? More of a hobbyist. No. <laughs> no. I think oh, you need right, an right. FTA. So, right? oh, this, so this is actually an important distinction. Now, like someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but what and by the way, this was 30 years ago. Yeah, I yeah, think well, I'm remembering this correct. Laws are looser now than they were 30 years ago. It's, it's great. Um, a, a little <laughs> bit. One of my charges was that serial number thing. Remember? I think the Supreme Court court just squashed the whole idea of serial numbers on firearms in the United States. I, if I understood their ruling correctly, they were, uh, there was a case that involved a man, a, ba- a bad man, to be fair, a criminal, who had a weapon with the serial number uh, carved off. And he was like, look, that's a bullshit law. Like, like, who are you to say? It's my gun. I can take your fucking serial number off if I want to. And they, they went up to the Supreme Court and he won. I don't remember the de- nitty gritty details about why, but that changes a lot of things. Uh, before that ruling, that's a ten year mandatory federal sentence <laughs> for uh, for even fucking with that serial number, you know. And uh, but why wouldn't you be able to do that with a VIN number on a car then, if you can do it on a serial number with a with you a can't. gun? You, I don't think you can scratch out your VIN number, can you? On a car? not not and drive down the road. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. But why would yeah. you be able to? If it's the same principle, right? I own this car. I'm not leasing it from the bank. This is my fucking car. You can't scratch out your VIN number. That is not okay. Well, you well you can as long as you keep that car at home, right? And, and right. I'm going to keep my gun at home. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I won't be that. operating my firearm do- down any highways, so uh, y'all don't have any jurisdiction <laughs> on uh, what do I do with it. No, okay. That's what I've always I, I, agreed. Oh, yeah. Zach and I both Googled it. You're right, Josh. You can't scratch it off. You can't yeah. scratch off the bin, right? Yeah. Yeah. On the cars. On the cars. On the cars. Right. On the cars and then drive right. them. But if I've got it at home and I keep Google garage, makes it seem like you just can't scratch them right. off. I, but I Kyle. Know. What is it? Like that tag on a mattress? <laughs> I'm going to scratch off the vins. Of I'm going to use but, that. <laughs> but Kyle, if you have a car that you don't take anywhere, is it a car? You could off road with it, right? You could do uh, things that yeah, don't have anything do, to do with the, the U.S. government and their set of roads and regulations. I could that's take true. that car and I could like off road in my in my pasture or you know I, I wherever you want. That's private land. 
Yeah. And then you're not up to, then it doesn't matter if it's street legal, right? You can put some big tires and loud exhaust and two engines on it if you want, whatever. But uh, that's neither here nor there. I'm, I'm not trying to say it's right or wrong to carve the serial numbers off guns because the, the Supreme Court already figured that one out for us. No there need to go. think about it further. After 30, like I'm only 31 now, but like, re- I remember at like 20 being like 30, that's like never going to happen. That's not even a thing. I'm a young guy. Like now I'm 31. I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to die someday. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm sprinting to the finish here. And like, I'll be like thinking about my mortality while I'm overeating salty foods. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm killing myself. How much time am I taking off my life with these snacks? Yeah. Like I, I got really high the other night and genuinely was sitting there like I was eating a little too much Halloween candy that my wife bought. And I told her not to get it four weeks before fucking Halloween. I knew that would be a problem. It's and really I, her fault you ate it. it was, That's right. Yeah. I maintain that. Oh, this so is, would you like I, a I didn't, deal on I didn't bring this up on PKN because I was genuinely a little embarrassed about it. But like this past <laughs> this past uh, Saturday, my uh, uh, I was home alone. My wife was was out. And uh, <laughs> I she had this giant bag of candy that she'd gotten oh, for trick or treaters, no. and it had been there for almost a week already. And I had resisted mostly, and like <laughs> it, it, it got to be that night, and I ate a bunch of edibles, and I was like just blitzed out of my gourd playing Age of Mythology or whatever. And like I looked to my right at the end of the night, and like my entire and like couch side table is covered in snickers wrappers oh. twix wrappers reese's? and like i uh, the they, didn't, they didn't have reese's thank god or i would have killed myself and the next morning <laughs> like i was just sitting i was i was drinking mazevias having my candy eating so much and i woke up the next morning like with a feeling of like oh I, I might throw up what's wrong like am i hung over i didn't drink anything and i'm like you fat fuck you have a candy hangover right now like <laughs> I, I really did like i i I, I, just, I did not want out on Sunday because I'm like I don't feel good. <laughs> you ate you ate two pounds of candy and then was like I should probably have a zevia. Like, I what? like <laughs> what the fuck? I, I just yeah. uh, I, I just like the diet zevias. soda to go with your routine. <laughs> yeah, everyone a, engages in delusion at that point. <laughs> <laughs> everyone engages in their own flavor of delusion, I, and that's, no, that's true. It, like, like, like if, if no I have a pet. I don't leave the bag of dog food on the floor where the dogs can yeah. get to it. Clearly, you need to hide the candy from Taylor. You know she what's was funny? an irresponsible husband owner. She, li- she literally asked me before, like, she left. She's like, I need to hide this from you. And I'm like, ah, pish posh. <laughs> she, and she did because I ate all. By the way, I, I like, literally I was in like a cranky mood all of Sunday morning because I like I was like sitting like I had these plans to work out and everything. And I was sitting on my couch like I'm going to I'm going to in the middle of my morning shit Sunday morning. I'm like, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw up. From the, candy Taylor, I we need to become bulimic. I think that's our cutting strategy. That could work, but I don't like vomiting, and that's yes, a huge yes. part of it. How old, Woody? How old are you? Forty-nine. Okay, I'm fifty-three. Yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. Happy birthday. The cutting strategy is super easy. I'm telling you. I mean, I'm probably more cut than I've ever been in my life. Okay. But at our age, Woody. Now, Taylor, no excuse for you. No, Dude, I'm saying you're 31. Like, you still have <laughs> testosterone. So I don't know what you're fucking about. You know what I mean? All you got to do, do is do a couple push-ups with those Skittles, and you should be in good shape. I do a lot but, of lifting. Um, dude, it's not only what you eat, it's obviously when you eat. But do you intermittent fast? No, it, it makes me hungry. Yeah, that's what you got to do. I will, I'm like, out of guilt after a big feast. Like, what are you, 12 I- hours? 12 hours. 12 hours without Just, food. That's nine. Go from seven. Yeah. Go from like seven to night, seven. Though. Yeah, go from seven to seven or eight to eight. I'm telling you right now, God. you're going to see a huge difference. A huge difference. You want me to go 12 hours without food? Josh, we're no longer friends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> When's the last time you eat? Like, what's your window right the now? The last time I ate was right before the show. No, no, like at nighttime. <laughs> At nighttime, when's the last time you eat? At night time. No, to be honest with you, um, what I'll do is I'll have dinner, and if I'm hungry, I eat watermelon. That's my snack. At yeah, night. and I yeah, consider it guilt free. I don't just, know if it should be, but to, to just kind of like get the conversation where it actually needs to go. Uh, Woody, Woody was mostly just teasing Taylor because Woody's in tremendous shape and is on a oh, regimented oh, okay, diet okay, okay, workout okay, okay, program okay. for the last like two and a half years. He's as close to He Man as you can get at his age. Very fit. without <laughs> without without injecting some <laughs> testosterone, and that's coming soon. I can, I, I think I, I 
I, I can read Woody's mind. I think he's looking at the year 50. He's like, when I'm 50, <laughs> that's when I'll start it. I bet he's had that start thought. the injections. I looked yes, into TRT. TRT and you, when you, when he starts the TRT, y'all will know. Because Woody will go, boom. <laughs> 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 he will just be bigger. Oh, yeah. Jackie's going to have to go back to Hollister for a whole new war. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a secure. laughs> Woody, would you do the shots or would you do the cream? Uh, and would you do HGH peptides? What would you shots. Do? You know Other what? Let's dive in head first. Let's go shots, peptides, HGH, and shrooms. Trend. Just, trend. <laughs> trend. You're just hallucinating building muscle on your couch. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea uh, how much fun working out was. <laughs> like it is so much easier to lose 15 pounds than to recover from lipo. Mm, I buy that. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Um, it's it's real easy to lose that weight. You just got to like get all that shit out of your house and you got to stop buying it. And whatever's allowing you to buy it has to go too. And if that means a woman, then she's got to fucking go. And if that means an app on your phone, then it's got to go. And if it means like a, your diabetic fucking grandma, that it might be time to move out homes. But yeah. one way or the other, you got to change your environment. You got to change what's around you before you change what's, change what's in you. Because if there's Oreos there, I'm going to fucking eat them. I yeah. had luck with food substitutes. Like, um gonna eat them I, I just figure out look all the things i substitute with are not as good i used to have real cream in my coffee now i have like almond cream or something Zream. yeah 20 percent of the calories 80 percent is good it's a good deal i'll take yep. it and i have stevia in my coffee instead of sugar not as good as sugar but it's zero calories and it's a good trade and mm -hmm. this concept of like oh it's a good trade this is a, a sacrifice that i can live with long term has been what's worked for me. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's getting it's the it's getting those. It's the same concept of like you know building a little bit of wealth, right? Getting rid of those monthly payments is kind of helpful, right? And sure. if you've got a daily intake of fifty calories, boom, every day, right in the morning, that that little teaspoon of sugar, 50, 50, 50, 50. Mm -hmm. and you can just imagine that montage in your head, right? <laughs> After, it doesn't take long. It's uh, seven hundred days uh, until you. The, Every two years, you're getting a pound fatter just because of that teaspoon that you're mm -hmm. putting in there, and and that's going to add up over a few years, at, you know, out of out of high school, right? And sure. you do that with every all, all day, every day, with little replacements. I like these. I don't know why everybody in the health industry, well, some people shit on soda, and the whole thing about um, kidney stones, the, oh, that's genetic. That's genetic. I've never had a kidney stone in my life, and I I drink nothing but soda. They're <laughs> all. I drink nothing but soda. <laughs> and, 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 and my and at my blood work is like immaculate like like all of my health numbers will be just dialed in perfectly all diets banging are. 30 sodas a day just just I, all day Doesn't i matter. basically hydrate Doesn't now matter. with stevia lemonade and if you were to taste the lemonade in my house you'd be like that's a sacrifice, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is not as good as real lemonade. That that's do you true. get the diet lemonade that you know, Jackie makes it? I think she uses oh, actual please, lemon juice you? and stevia. The diet minute made. We good. don't need vitamin C that bad. We can get that from OJ later if we really need some vitamin, vitamin C. Vitamin C is a like fool's that. errand. They make diet. <laughs> sure, I get it in one of my pills. They make diet lemonade that's wonderful, and it's like thirty calories a glass or something. Like like it's it's a small amount of cal and you can mix it half and half with your unsweet tea with a bit of the, the sweetener in, and then you got your yeah. like sunbeam nonsense little or little whatever. Arnie Palmer. Joy. Yeah. That's yeah. The... So the sun joys from uh, Chick fil A. Chick fil A is the only place that could be that anti gay and not get canceled because they're just so good at what they fucking do. They don't yes. call it an Arnold Palmer at Chick fil A. They're still right. supporting those organizations. Like they they were like, fuck you, we don't care. Yeah. Eat our Eat our chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit what they're doing on the back end. That's good chicken, and they're doing. I don't and you know care what? I, I every time I show up, everybody's nice. Everybody's friendly. So fucking nice. So what are they good looking? That? Yeah. How do they hire like all upper class white kids at every Chick Fil A <laughs> I've ever been to? <laughs> they're wearing khakis. They must up be there. the ones applying. Some of these boys are clearly named Noah. It looks like Sunday school. Yes, yes. It's like a su you're, you nailed it. That's such you a fucking it. funny way to say that, Woody. That's yes. <laughs> They've got Noah. There. Some guy named Noah takes my order. Let me describe Noah. Let me describe Noah. Noah could lose ten pounds. He's wearing khakis. He has a blue, a light blue button up shirt tucked in. He has a clipboard in one hand. He has blonde hair. It's a little, it's a little long, but he's a big smile on his face and he's happy to see you. 
Welcome to Chick-fil-A, motherfucker. How can I help you? Oh, yeah? <laughs> it is a wonderful, blessed day, isn't it? And he's got your... Oh, yeah? Oh, when's your order going to get here? It's already here. Look in your passenger seat. That's how fast how it works. Click, click, clack. See you later, sir. Guess it's again. Done. You're already eating. <laughs> <laughs> Look in the back seat. You've been eating the whole time. <laughs> like, no, it's, it's, they're amazing at Chick-fil-A. I, I feel bad they for They blow the pants off of everybody else's uh, customer service. They do, the and off. they need it too. Like their drive-through needs to be more efficient. They have to be handling people deeper in the line yeah. because they, their line's that long. Yeah. It's a madhouse. It's the only fast food place that every time you drive by, even near a meal time, it's around the block. It's like you I can't feel, get into grocery stores in the same lot because the the tail is so. Long. I order breakfast from there a lot because you can get their. Um, they have like this scrambled egg bowl that has grilled chicken, cheese, huh. and um, scrambled eggs. So I eat that for eight, two of those for breakfast. A I don't lot. think I've had their breakfast. This sounds good. It's really fucking good. Um, I do grilled chicken instead of the chicken nuggets because chicken nuggets for breakfast didn't make any sense. And I don't, I'm sausage does, doesn't well, leave the judgment lifestyle. at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really good though. Um, but I feel kind of bad. Like when I, when I go to tip them, I, I if I, I, I'm like, ah, what kind of tip do you give some, somebody who has to go sit in a, in a morning Chick fil A line? Uh, nah, I won't tip. <laughs> no, I tip. Them. I, tip them. I get annoyed good. with those uh delivery services because now they've added like um an extra three dollars if if you want it brought right to you. It's like even though I've signed up for the most expensive version of the app and everything, they're they're still hitting me for that extra three dollars. Like, hey, do you want your food actually brought straight to you? Well, yeah, I really want that. Right? Oh, then, like many then they stops. might stop yeah. at somebody else's house who's it's like kind of on the way third on the line or whatever. Yeah. So they're mm. like trucking my grilled chicken sandwich around to three fucking houses while the tomato leaks into the yeah. bread. You know? <laughs> I see. Or, or I was like, like breakfast shows up cold. Like I misunderstood. I thought they were leaving it at like the bottom of your driveway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, <three dollars> or <laughs> no, you and leave it on the roadside. Up here or you're not getting any tip. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I had that once I ordered. I ordered something at night. And a girl was doing the delivery and she was like, I'm at the end of the driveway. And at this point, I've got a kind of a long driveway and it's steep as fuck. Good luck on the last leg of the journey, ma'am. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, all right. And she's like, could you come get the food? I'm like, motherfucker. First of all, you're not getting any tip, lady. Because if you're so scared to do your job that you can't do your job, then you can't do your job. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to give you a the tip, which out. is like a bonus. Tips are a bonus. Okay. It's, it's a job well done. And I'm not going to give you a job well done tip when it's a job not done. And you stayed at my fucking mailbox and made me hustle out here for the food. So I'll smile. I'll say, yeah, I understand. Have a good night. That but I'm taking bitch. your tip away and I'm reporting you because your you car is not for stay. a tip. I'm officer. Like, I'm, yeah, reporting I'm, here immediately. I'm reporting a suspected rapist. And I, <laughs> I'm not a fucking Karen or uh, anything. Food rapist. I'm not a Karen or anything, but I don't like that. Um, here's what happens every time I order groceries, though, and I don't say a damn thing. They smell like weed every fucking time. My and they're wrong. It's like, dude, you've got my groceries wrong every time for like six weeks straight, and they always smell like marijuana. Like I can smell <laughs> it. I know. I smell those bags, and I'm like, marijuana. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I know what's happening here. Yeah. And but but Instacart is so cool. They're as good as Am Amazon. I'll I'll take a picture of the, what showed up, and I'm like, this is what showed up. This is what I ordered. Make it right. And they're like. Cash or credit? <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Do, do you want us to just reorder it for you? Yeah, and it'll come back wrong again. And I'll be like, boop, 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 boop. after a while, I've got, I have filled a cupboard halfway up with groceries that weren't supposed to come here. It's like tomato sauce and ketchups mm -hmm. and stuff, stuff yeah. I don't eat. Sometimes I have to give away to like the the, the, the food we got bank that. thing. Maybe we're not on top of it. You know what we do get? We have a like a water filtration system in this house that involves Ooh. salt. Big 50 pound yeah. bags of salt. And I don't even like to get them. It's such a pain in the ass, especially North Carolina's hot like nine months a year. So you get sweaty loading up 50 pound bags of salt mm -hmm. into the back of the truck and stuff. But Walmart hasn't figured out that that's different than delivering like pasta. Yep. So we're like, yeah, yeah, take, you know, we could use um, <laughs> like a can of soup and 300 pounds of salt. Please. 
have the Campbell's creamy mushroom and a pallet of rock salt, please. Good luck in your Prius, Tony. <laughs> we went ahead. That's, what do you tip those people? What do you tip those people? I don't know. Jackie handles it. Oh, that means it's not much. They, oh, they just, bad. they just, then, you know, there, there's this woman struggling to stack like 300 pounds of salt on my front porch. <laughs> and the, the 400 yard driveway with salt. And that's so funny. You just, buy, so it's awful. like you're going in to buy condoms, like embarrassed, and you're like, a toothbrush, <laughs> uh, one apple, <laughs> and, and 10 bags of salt. I've done the same thing. But with um, <laughs> like water, dog food, or sodas, I drink, uh, like I said, an enormous amount of sodas. So I buy those 24 packs of soda, and I'll buy like five at a time. You're going to have to truck that stuff up the driveway. Or, or I was buying those, uh, those giant things of water uh, for a while, and they would hit you for a $3 fee like a heavy package or something inconvenient mm -hmm. package fee or something. That's like, oh, $3 as high as that fee goes, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what. I think I'll get enough water for the month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not make two or three trips out of this. They hate it. They hate it. I watch through the peephole sometimes. Like, yeah, yeah load it up. <laughs> You're watching through the peephole? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah, do it, water servant. Yeah. <laughs> Bring me I, my liquid. See, we've all got a little James Corden in us. Yeah. Oh, we I mean, his name is. I told you the other day, I actually felt really bad for that plumber who was out there fixing my leak in the yard. Mm -hmm. um it, it was nighttime and it was chilly and he was like in a mud hole up to his waist like on his knees with one of the, he didn't even have that light that goes on your head like like it's, which is exactly what he needed mm -hmm. he didn't have a headlamp he had his fucking cell phone out there so wow. then like every time he'd grab it it'd get all muddy and shit to the point where, like, now he's trying to like get the mud off. I, I'm, I'm, I'm watching all this through the fucking window. <laughs> I'm, like, watching, I'm thinking like, man, you need somebody to hold a goddamn flashlight for you. That would be killer. <laughs> <laughs> just like, See what this guy needs is help, and you're just looking, <laughs> just watching. See, your problem is you don't have me. I'll give you helpful tips. You need a second guy, preferably someone who's got nothing going on. <laughs> Oh, no, me? I'm a pretend pirate online. I gotta go. <laughs> I've got some scalawags to slay. <laughs> some ruffians to, to, to I'm gonna make, a booty. I'm gonna make a day of it. <laughs> I bought this hat. <laughs> Yar! Uh, no, well, I don't, I don't feel bad because that's not my plumber that I hired. That's like the landlord's plumber that he hired. And uh, I, I think I made, did I do it on PKN where I explained that they allowed a, a quarter million gallons a month yeah. to leak into my mm -hmm. front yard because they thought that they, they were too cheap to get a real plumber. They hired one plumber. He did a shitty job. And so they're like, ah, we're going to make him make right on, the, on, on that 250 we spent on him. We'll make him come back. And they probably like tried to like legalize him somehow. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, he's like, I didn't like that mud hole out, the, out there y'all made me work in. So, no, I'm not coming back for that pinhole leak. It leaked a quarter million gallons a month for two and a half fucking months. It cost them thousands of dollars. It's like seven eight to eight dollars a thousand. You can do the math uh, once, you, once you go into an overage like that. I didn't even know how much water cost. I didn't I either. I Googled it. it. Yeah. It's usually so little that it's like, oh, what was our water bill? $42 instead of 40 Yikes. The the water but, bill is the only one I see where I'm like, that seems fair. Like, like fair, yeah, fair. I really love having water around and $39. Yeah, I'm gonna keep water around. My dad has had this instance one time where I can't remember exactly how it went. Through no fault of his own or action of his, they rigged up his water in a way that he was being billed for this tiny little spigot. Meanwhile, there's six inch line rolling right to his farm mm -hmm. and it's it went on for a who knows how long maybe years in minecraft <laughs> but like it, it was just like man they've just i hope they never figure this out and they never did they never did hmm. and then there was a big water leak and they found it and they found it and they were like ah wait has this always been like this and we're like who knows? Who knows? We don't, we never really use any water out of that line. <laughs> <laughs> really? Just, it shows a just, lot. <laughs> just millions of gallons. Literally <laughs> millions. The way those poultry houses work, like not only the chickens, and there's like a quarter million of them on the farm constantly pecking, drinking water, 
but that's how the coolant system works. It it's it mists water onto the swamp cooler. I've never heard that. Um, there okay. uh, cool pads or cool cells usually. Uh, cool cells is the more modern one, and there may be something newer. I'm not into the in the know or anything, but water runs through these uh, filters, and then air is drawn through them using tunnel ventilation, huge fans, and it's cooled like that. Uh, the air passes through the 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 cool wet filters, and it's cooled and it's drawn through the whole chicken house to cool them down. Chicken talk. So, lots of water. <laughs> I didn't oh. know. How many of the, I think it's the male chicks, they just grind up in certain operations. I suppose yeah. it's when they're specifically making maybe egg, egg layers. Hens. Yeah. In those factories, all of the males, if they're lucky in a modern facility, like, well, in a German facility, they get flash frozen in utero, like when they're still in the egg. Everywhere else. Is the German just, facility one in Germany? Yes. They yeah. don't just put them in pizza ovens. They're flash. Fr oh. <laughs> they flash freeze, which oh, kills okay. them when they're and then um, when they're still in the egg, and then they use those eggs as like fertilizer or something like that. But in everywhere else, they grind the little peeps to death in these killing machines, or they put them in buckets and drown them as they're all like coming up to the top, like peeping, please, please. <laughs> and it's like a fifty-five gallon drum full of them, and then they add water. So the the screams are just deafening because that's worse dozen... than anything the nazis did that's I've heard. not <laughs> that's not the case <laughs> the... <laughs> listen kanye people kanye <laughs> you, well, fucking... you, you like having your money at jp morgan not anymore <laughs> I, I i'm a i'm a staunch defender of israel and it's people god damn it. I, just... I have several jewish friends who will vouch for me if need be <laughs> you got them vouching for you. Yeah, we got to get okay. someone on the Patreon. Harley will Jimmy step up for me. I, I, not for you. Not if he hears that. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Harley would step up for me if there was like a like a, like like the overlords stepped down and they were like this guy. We think he needs to go. He might be an anti-Semite. I think Harley would be the one to be like step up. And be like hey, excuse me, excuse me. Um, he pulled up like a Star of David that came out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like it's like platinum and it's like he like turns it like a puzzle box at a hellraiser <laughs> and he's like ching uh Jew number five million six hundred and thirty seven thousand four hundred and seventy two uh yeah Harley Morenstein here I just wanted to speak for Mr. Myers like I, I believe he'd do that for me he'd speak up for me in Jew court. He'd he'd come to the Jew Council and save you <laughs> he'd come to the high council, the high council at, of Jews at, of Jews you know, and and he'd pull out his his Star of David medallion, and he'd speak up for me. And I and if I needed to, I could reach out to uh, to X Jaws too. I think he'd uh, he'd have a good word for me as well. I have a hood pass and a gay pass. I can also pull out Mo anytime I need, but I don't have any Jew passes, so I might be fucked. I haven't talked to you Mo in like seven years, but mm. uh, we we were always friendly with one another. Like Mo's Jewish. So I, I, if I, I, you know, if the council wasn't wasn't. If they weren't feeling Mr. Morenstein's please, I think I'd reach mm. out to, to, to Mo because he'd have some more pull than, than Harley, I think. You think so? Mo's a very wealthy man, yeah. Yeah, but Harley has got to be the tallest Jew. Oh, that's true. Is, is that I important imagine, to them? I imagine this. <laughs> I, that's how, that's I would how think they that... gauge power, the tallest. <laughs> that's, how the, that's the ancient Hebrew way of He's the discerning... high elder then, probably. Yeah. <laughs> People thought it was like high priests, like some sort of symbolism. No, just the tallest guy. I still get mad. I get mad, About, yeah, about yeah. stupid shit. Like, I, I got a burrito. This was like, I remember this was four years ago. I got a burrito from chipotle my wife and I, my now wife we went and got it and like we picked it up like, I, I guess i wasn't really paying that much attention like we placed the order then we went to pick it up so i didn't see them making it and i got home and it was like triple wrapped with with torn destroyed tortillas and the whole thing was was just a bowl and i remember like getting livid like if i wanted a fucking burrito bowl i would have ordered a burrito bowl i wanted the burrito i wanted the handheld aspect of it my, my, my <laughs> girlfriend at the time's like it's the same food it's okay i'm like i didn't want it this way and i'm like <laughs> like full-on like baby tantrum style like mad about it and it wasn't until later that evening i'm like I'm sorry about the burrito thing. That was, that was, that was over the line. I, I, I was, but in my head, I was so excited for that burrito. Yeah. And then for it to not be what I imagined, and for them to have, I will say this: they put a spiteful amount of lettuce in it. 
a spiteful amount of lettuce, not a not a smattering of lettuce as you would want, an amount that tells me, fuck you, we're, you're not getting double meat. Or what I do to you. Maybe they're telling you <laughs> probably more lettuce in your diet. Probably more lettuce in my diet. <laughs> no, I need the protein for lifting. I need to, to build my, because as long as I'm lifting weights all the time, I can say, yeah, but I lift weights all the time. I'm just, I'm just a big boned. I, I don't have to come to terms with being fat. <laughs> well, I like that. I, that is a really well thought out form of denial. I, yeah. yeah. That, have you considered yeah. intermittent then... intermittent fasting, Taylor? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I, I sleep every night. <laughs> I absolutely love the fasting. Really? I yeah. love it. You're seven to seven. Sick and raw. I did that for like, this was years ago when I did it. I would do it till like, I think it was like, eight to eight or so and i would be so fucking just I, I couldn't do lifting like i just didn't feel like i had energy and instead of doing the smart thing which would have been like hey let's do uh let's change the time frame on it i was like ah no no we're not <laughs> doing this we're gonna go back to eating around the clock again i did something silly. like i wouldn't eat until lunchtime basically that was my intermittent fasting and uh but then come lunchtime it was like you fucking yeah. roll out the cart babe i'm hungry yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna have myself a 1500 calorie lunch that's how it always goes for me like when i do fuck i've been doing really really good with not overdoing my snacking the past couple months like other than that candy debacle <laughs> uh, other than the other than the candy debacle last weekend i've been doing tremendous not i not I, I have time. a i'm of the opinion that there is no way it, it's much better to have like a huge fuck off meal like that than it is to have to eat that bag of candy spread out over say a week because i think if yeah. you spread that candy over a week your body is able to turn more of that extra energy into actual fat i bet the reason you felt so sick was your body's like ah we can't process this into fat properly what have you done Eat it yeah. slower next time so we can make fat of it. Now we have to make greasy shits. <laughs> well, and, and I, I, I never eat candy. And so going from no candy ever to the equivalent of nine or ten Snickers. That's what my body sounds was a, like. was a shock to the ah! system. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is yeah, too much. I, I don't have any scientific evidence to back it. But I just feel like if I eat 40,000 calories before I go to bed tonight. You don't gain a pound. Yeah. Woo! No, like, a it, pound, it would, would little... but I'll gain a pound. Like, we like call a... that cheating the reaper. So a pound. Of, <laughs> we eat like a pound. You're of fat saying is 3, if you eat calories. late at night, you don't gain weight? No, 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 no. no, no. I'm we're, saying, we're saying that if I eat an excessive amount, forty thousand calories at once, it can't be as bad as eating that forty thousand calories over the month. Yeah, because the okay, your body so just doesn't of, know what to do with that influx of nonsense. You're gonna poop it out, not fully digested and turned into fat. A pound of fat is three thousand five hundred calories. I just think that maybe if you eat three thousand five hundred calories extra today, you will gain a whole pound. Dude, but if, if you eat thirty thousand five, you won't uh, gain ten pounds in a day. You won't gain ten. You won't gain God. ten today. You'll you'll get sick and you'll probably sh have some weird shits. But like, there's no way your body is able to turn is create ten pounds of fat out of thirty five thousand calories in that short of a period of time. And you see people do that sometimes. Those crazy like YouTube um, uh, eating challenge videos where they go somewhere and eat just platters of food. It's tens of thousands of calories. Is that why you think like Kobayashi or whatever that Asian dude with the he was the, he wasn't even that big. But that's yeah. because he's eating all those calories at once and your body doesn't know what else to do besides shit it out. I might I, be bulimic too. I, I mean, I, I don't think that he regularly eats like huge and huge amounts of like, it's calories in, calories out. He's out, got a train. Mostly. But I'm just saying these huge one-time binges are not uh, like, like clear mathematics as far as calories in, calories out. Calories in, calories out pertains more to long-term stuff. Like, yeah. oh, so you've been eating 500 calorie sandwiches four times a day for the last month. We can probably figure this math out. But if you eat $50,000 worth of roast beef tomorrow, I don't know what's going to happen, but you're not <laughs> going to gain that much in fat. You're going to turn 50,000 surplus calories into 50,000 calories of fat that is on your body. You might yeah. be high because 50,000 calories of roast beef has got to be like two too much food <laughs> yeah i think i think the heart attack happens before the shit does heart attack oh well, i don't does, does 50, actually cause a heart attack worth of roast beef I, I you'd be more likely to like rupture a uh your stomach or something right or maybe or your um, asshole oh, I, oh the asshole can take a pounding 
Yeah, you can't yeah, eat yeah, it. No you way. can't eat it. If you think you can eat enough to hurt an asshole, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna be on the uh, shit. I've that been stick. training my anus for years now. Well, mm. I disagree. <laughs> you haven't you haven't stung your butthole before? Uh, the modern anus is so coddled. <laughs> you don't you just you just don't know how to uh to season an anus they're just like mm-hmm. cookware you have to get a nice seasoning layer on there to harden You're telling them. me that my butthole is is like that old black <laughs> pan my nana used to cook on no my butthole pan. is no mine <laughs> is mine's got, got it's got that baked in hardness to it you, you've got that like rachel ray pan that oh, yeah, you dude, used no, a fork on one time when you made eggs and now it's ruined I have my 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 butthole is definitely it's Tupperware. Yeah, not a hearty asshole. Yeah, mm. you can see through it. You put that thing in the dishwasher; <laughs> it's gonna melt. Yeah, yeah, it's not good with hot stuff. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, I agree. You dishwasher, you throw my uh, you throw my asshole right in the dishwasher. You'd love it. Wouldn't care. Mm-hmm. That's what I, this, 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 I, I don't like anything that you can't put in the dishwasher. This coffee cup used to have the whole crew of Star Trek on the uh, uh, the um, the the transporter pad and when you poured the coffee in they transported to a planet but i put the bitch in a, <laughs> a dishwasher so now it's a black coffee cup you, tra- you transported them to the bottom of the fucking dishwasher i paid 40 dollars for that coffee cup you what wow. <laughs> god damn etsy did you really <laughs> i did i liked it you know they had the whole cast on there and they beamed down when you poured the coffee in it's still forty dollars for a coffee. It was forty dollars. The one, I, the coffee cup I, do, I I really want on Etsy is like one hundred and fifty dollars, and it's like a human skull with a handle. Not a real human skull, but it looks so realistic. I think it's carved out of stone or something. But mm. they're expensive, and I, I just can't. How often are you on Etsy? My wife's on Etsy all the time. I, I have the app. I I just like when I buy people gifts, or if I'm going to buy like some wall decor or something like that, some sort of knickknack or something. Woody. <laughs> What's your worst accident you've had? Broke my leg. Um, Do I, was a, I was a newer pilot. I launched poorly. So when you first bring your wing up, you get a lot of lift, right? So you think of air as going sideways. But if you stand on a cliff, the air goes up. Like it rushes up the hill and goes up. So when you bring your wing up, it pulled me straight in the air. The first time I did that, I handled it okay. The second time I didn't, like my body position was all fouled up. Like imagine you're sitting on a swing and someone Mm. incredibly strong, Superman, pulls the chains up really fast. You might find yourself in like an awkward position. It's hard to keep your feet to be the lowest part of you. You might land on your ass, right? Because you're just sort of in the air, unable to right yourself. And um, the way I landed, like I guess I planted a toe and then bent it backwards, like towards behind me. Mm -hmm. And... um, Oh, yeah. so I guess your leg has four bones that kind of connect your foot to your leg, and I broke three of those, so that sucked. Yikes! That's, Almost I think that's my <laughs> I think that's yeah. my worst accident. That one. Yeah, yeah. But the so, yeah. high ankle what, sprain was worse than the broken bones. Ah, uh, he's oh. also he's also a lifeguard who saved over two hundred people's lives. <laughs> uh, also accurate. Oh, 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 and he was um um mm-hmm. um a uh, uh, award winning swimmer as well. Um. Um, many accolades to his name, regional mm-hmm. and, uh, and local events. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, shit. What we want to talk about stuff now? We want to talk about making millions of fucking dollars. <laughs> what we'll talk about. Why are we Man, doing I this? Haven't, I haven't real done winner. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. We should do this sometimes where we pump each other up. Yeah. Each other down. I was gonna say this is a real. <laughs> oh, I'm positive. a good hype man. You want me to do you next, Josh? <laughs> yeah, oh, you don't even know. You've done some cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was downstairs and I was like, yeah, I do a show with Josh Wolf guy. They were like. Really? That guy's hilarious. I saw him in Texas. Like everybody's pumped down there that you're that you're up here. They want to come up here. Fuck yeah, bring him up, man. Nah, fuck those assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I went down there, all the nutty buddy bars were gone. Oh, that's horrific. I keep uh, them in the freezer. I get one monsters. after PKA. Not this week. Yo, they <laughs> ate all of them? You gotta send them out to get some more. I remember yeah, those that, nutter uh, butters are so good. Remember that story our friends told us about that fucking obese, like antisocial person that went on that trip with him? And he was he had the whole box of oh, like yeah. little Debbie cakes, and he was just like one after another. And they were like, hey, they're individually wrapped for a reason. <laughs> 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 he, ate, he ate like a 12 in a box and he ate the whole fucking box. <laughs> it was like those Christmas tree cakes or something stupid like those that. Those aren't even very good. Not even good. <laughs> They're not even good. 
But Did let me ask you, recipe. Yeah. What's your favorite frozen candy bar? Oh, I think Reese's, Reese's are really good. Um, I grew up when I was four years old. There was a, a gas station just down the road from us, uh, ran by a guy, a guy named Dwayne, and Dwayne had one of those old timey uh, coolers that you had to, you know, that, that's low to the ground. You slide the top over. Yeah, yeah it was a Coca Cola uh, cooler, and down in there he would keep a bunch of Reese's and Snickers. And my dad would take me up there, and I'd get a can of Coke, and I'd get a Reese's, and we'd sit there and shoot the shit with him. And that was – I love those. Like, four-year-old me, it was like a – love those. There's a Snickers ice cream bar. Yeah. Does that count? That one's good. That's really uh, For good. me, dude, it's – I've never tried that. I, I'll tell you right. something. I think a Three Musketeers is so much better frozen than it is not frozen that that might get my vote just because it's so much it better be. than the regular one. It's hard to eat though, right? Doesn't it get super just gnaw on it and barely it's make progress? So much better. <laughs> it's crazy. Cookies are good. Uh, Oreos are really good out of the uh, pizza. Oh, you know, we used to I'm freeze hungry. Charleston chews and throw them at each other. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say these things are so difficult to eat. What are you doing to Oh, those your were hard. Drink, we just, throw those. We just know, threw those at each other. As well. Those mm. and those little peppermint patties, we used to freeze them and just fuck them, huck them at each other. <laughs> we, the winner's the one who gets all the candy. <laughs> yeah, right. oh, oh, don't throw money at me next. <laughs> <laughs> I like peppermint patties. I like those I, too. I mean, I, they're, I, they're all right. Junior mints. It, the problem is that like ice cream has so calorie dense that you gotta pick your favorites. When you go to when you go to like play that ice cream game, you gotta have you gotta be like, all right, let's pick our best. And for me, the best ice cream is um um, it's not moose tracks. It's uh, it's it's otter paws. Otter is paws that? is like chocolate covered pecans and caramel and vanilla ice cream. Is that and like a Ben and Jerry's one or something? Yeah, I think I think a few different, uh, not just Ben and Jerry's, but some. I've seen it elsewhere, like some Briars or something. Is to this me, a that's the best fat sinful. Oh ice yeah, cream yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, I mean, okay. Look, we, you and I have our ways of making things that are like ice cream, and and, and th those are okay. <laughs> some of the shit I make is definitely not. It looks a little like ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> like, like egg whip floof or something. That shit yeah. is awful. Like, like <laughs> what does that mean, egg whip floof? So like, I, I Kyle. I, so you familiar with this? To volumize yeah. Oh, yeah. it or something? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you've got like um, egg white and uh, um, like like zero calorie chocolate sauce and some other stuff, and and you're whipping it up and you're making these like calorie free almost brownies. I was like a whole pan oh. of brownies is is like 300 calories, I think. And the, but 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 if you look at the macros on a pan of these brownies, it's pretty good. It's healthy. It's protein. It's like all protein almost. So there were days when I'd be like. I'm having a pan of brownies for lunch, like in the middle of my weight oh, cut yeah. mm -hmm. when I was like dick skin lean and you could like see veins that, that were like powering my cock going from my <laughs> stomach to my cock. <laughs> like I, there were days in the middle of that the whole lunch was nothing but a whole pan of brownies. And, uh, what's uh, that recipe? Big... Oh, Google. You... Like I, I can well, get you it look at... It's easy. You look, you looking to get a good cock vein, are you? I'm looking oh, to get a, a bunch I, of protein in a sweet form that I can be like, oh, I'm getting my protein macros for the day and I'm snacking. I like things like that. I feel like I'm, I'm cheating. But you're uh, not really cheating. Explain to me when you guys say protein macros, what we're talking about. All right. So, so you, you need enough you protein three, to build muscle. There are three macronutrients. And then there are um, the micronutrients that, that you've heard about, like, like all the vitamins and minerals and shit. But the macronutrients are your fats, your carbs, and your protein. Right? Right. And, and – they're just the uh, they're, they're the densities of those is what I care about because fat mm -hmm. is the most dense calorically. One gram right. of fat has I don't, I'm making up a number. I don't have it in the, off the top of my head, but I think it's twelve calories. But one gram of protein is like seven, and I don't right. know what carbs are, but they might be six. You have to mm -hmm. also have to factor in how many calories your body burns, how much energy it takes to process each of those calories. If we're going to get crazy about this and we're about to do a body transformation, per se, you know. Mm -hmm. But what we're talking about when we say macros is the ratio of those three macronutrients, fats, carbs, and proteins. What I do uh, is I make sure that I've got my correct protein allotment. I do that little math problem, multiplying my body weight my or my lean body mass or whatever in kilos and then figure that out. And then I fill the rest in mostly with carbs and a few healthy fats in every meal, which is mostly almonds and fish. I mm -hmm. do something Wait. close, right? So, so the... the what they want you to do is get the right amount of fats, carbs, and proteins 
for the amount of calories you want. So you're like, all right, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm going to have 2000 calories a day. That means that I need whatever, 150 grams of protein, so many carbs, so many fats. I'll be like this. Okay. The 2000 calories, that part I give a fuck about the protein, that part I give a fuck about the carbs and the fats can suck my dick. I always get enough of those. It's not that hard to get enough fats and sugar in your diet. Just mm -hmm. keep those as small as possible while getting enough protein and not too many calories. And if you do that, you're 80% right. You're 80% right. You're absolutely yeah. correct. Protein's um, the only macro I actually like track and make sure I hit 200 grams. Oh, you need to hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care if you hit your carb, but if you don't hit your carb <laughs> yeah. numbers correctly, you're not going to be able to do your workout. I usually I, just make sure like but, at least 200 grams a day. And that seems yo, to be fine. Uh, there's a, I, there were I, plenty of days when the way, I was like, I would run out of energy and like Kyle, I would have to go get some orange juice. Kyle, I disagree with you like almost 100%, man. Okay. okay. In that I have so much energy. I'm 52 and I'm just high fat. I burn fat. I don't burn carbs. But I That's have what more your diet is? You're on like a keto diet? Yeah. I, and, well, then and, you're in ketosis. Your body burns fat differently than ours do. You've trained yes. to, do, to do so. But that's what I'm saying. So yeah, but so like, for me, it's the exact opposite. I, I by the way, I've never felt better. I'm thinner. Oh, than I, I bet. Be. Yeah, good. I hear that a lot. I'm I'm thinner than I want to be. Like I don't, but I but at my age, I'd rather feel better than look the way I want to look. You know, I have a question mm -hmm. about like like delving, getting into the into ketosis. Air quotes seems to be like an annoying part of it. Like that those first yes. few days, it's like loading creatine. Can you just like shoot up some um 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 what is it what's that stuff diabetics use insulin and like insulin. crash crash your fucking levels and just go straight into ketosis? <laughs> Get my body. I have no That's idea. probably not I good for you. I do know that they you know some people say that they like there are these powders or stuff that are ketones you can put in your body. No, nah, if it don't, I don't believe anything that come in a needle. Yeah. I, <laughs> can I, I I'm telling you, ketosis if you don't get it from your pharmacist, it's probably insulin. witchcraft. It, it, it is, but it has been like, it did take me a while. It took my body a long time. Insulin it suppresses took, ketone production. So if you want to get into ketosis and stay there, you want to minimize insulin as much as possible. Unless you're taking outside insulin, the easiest way to do this is changing what you eat. Interesting. That's so, still, I'm still on the right track. I was just on the wrong end of the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you bas and we basically do this. like they're, the things that I don't Derek! pray anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, give me some more, ne some more needles that make ketosis. By the way, I'm a, I'm a straight up like stoner, that. dude. And what? I used to eat three bags of Skittles a night. A night, I used to sit and eat. I'd put them in a bowl, and my wife and I would just go after them. I don't remember ever seeing you fat, though. You, you I was minutes? never fat. I, I'm yeah. a I'm a gym rat. I, I mean, mm. even even now, I I'm in the gym six days a week, and I hike with my dog in the morning. Why haven't like you TRT yet? Three miles a day. I haven't had to. And, you know, I think my dad <clears throat> was in pretty good shape for a long time. And so, so it's not just about having to. Don't think of it as, oh man. Oh my! No, no, no! no I don't think of it that thing. at all. Uh, You're allowed I still, to. I still have you're in. I still have muscle, like I still have a six pack. You see, so you're still I looking still, at it wrong. The the TRT isn't isn't the 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 uh you're thinking of TRT like CPR, like like oh yeah, I'll wait no, until no, no, I'm no. drowned and, no, no, I, and, no. I, and I need to be saved but to have while some. my bot my levels are still seat. good. Let's go ahead and while get my some, levels are my levels now. are still good, so my body oh. still makes it. So while good. my body still makes it, my levels are great. <laughs> Kyle's levels are heinously high. <laughs> look, and it, it, look, it, it's super duper cheap because um, it comes in a bottle. Just if, if, if you ever do it, don't do the cream. That's silly stuff. That's amateur hour. You know, you, you want this, and it's little bitty needles. You know, these these, these needles don't hurt. These needles don't hurt at all. They're, they're bitty baby syringes. They're tiny. You can't even see that needle. Why do you have a syringe laying on your desk? Um, all pointy. I, I, well, because I've got it in like a sharps container upside down over there, and it's like it's, I just injected like before the show, so I took the. Are you reusing I, syringes? Like of a course not. This is one yes. I just used. That's in. It's a called container. being a smart consumer, Woody. <laughs> <laughs> it's called being cost conscious in these trying times. Heard of that? First of all, Taylor, yeah. you're right. I'm underestimating how biologic or how uh, ecologically sensitive <laughs> Kyle is. He's saving the environment. He is. He's putting these all in a bag and burying it in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> when, he's, when he's done. <laughs>
<laughs> I put them. You know, I think all, that, all, the, all those, everybody in the news saying that you shouldn't pour motor oil on hills. At no, park. I've been saving them. Halloween's <laughs> coming up. I got hundreds. Yeah, it's very Kyle, spooky. It Where was it? Yard. You said it was in a sharp container. But I've you got can a plastic get to it. container over here. That it's look. I, I Did you reach into the plastic container to get it little, out? Yeah, it's like in the container, upside down. Needle first with the like little alcohol pad that I use to like sterilize and then show it to us. No, you don't, you don't even keep okay, it in a safe. Well, right. What if a child came across right here? Right here. Yeah, this little it should be in a here. safe locked up. It's just, it's not like a container or anything. It's just what I put it in. Oh, it's okay. Holder, so I, a sharp container I a at a hospital it's my is on the sharp wall. <laughs> it's like a little trash can. Oh, what sharps is a brand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this I doesn't have gonna be one of those. Logo. Dad, I'm just throw things in it to sharp sharp <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like what you saw in the hospital. hospital had like a, yeah. yeah, I may have implied that it's actually an old Nutella container. But it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old Nutella container. <laughs> no, um, no, I highly recommend TRT. Um, you, you know, bitter, bigger, faster, stronger, all that stuff. Um, you know, just 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 go watch Pumping Iron with Arnold. And, yeah. and 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 let him and just remit and and you could go do his you could do, do exactly the same shit he did if you wanted to i don't think it's a good idea there's better stuff now uh, as but, soon as if i'm if when i'm done having kids i'm gonna get on trt i'm gonna get on this an amount that the doctors are sperm. saying stop stop don't do anymore and i'm gonna be so is this gonna, gonna be, be so like, mad is this gonna be like the ellie confidential dvd again am i gonna have to pay to freeze <laughs> your sperm so that you can get on juice so i can see you turn into the the big muscle nasty hulk that you're meant to be the big, I, I want to do that. I, I feel like I've got good genes for putting muscle on. It's oh, a lot, it's a lot easier for me to put muscle on than a lot of people. And if I could just take sure. nine months, nine months of just TRT and lifting hard like you already do. And maybe you add, and I know you are just thinking, add three or 400 calories to your, to your diet, more calories. How will it manage? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no. You would, you would be. You would be 250 pounds, 260 pounds by the time you were done. Then you'd cut off about 25 and you would be 230 pounds of like us. You'd look like a professional football player in nine months. Do it. In nine months, you'd have the bulk to be like a lineman. In a year, you'd have cut the fat off of that nine months and you would look like a professional athlete. Taylor, you like, should do this you instead would of conceiving scary. baby. <laughs> like instead when you walk children, in I places, just get shredded. when you walk in, like clothes will fit you in a way that don't fit normal human beings. You mm -hmm. will have to get special kinds of clothes to fit around your delts and your quads. And By your the ass. way, is it weird that I'm kind of hard right now? No, uh -huh. it's normal. That's a different <laughs> pill, but we've got that too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm bricked up just thinking about how hot I'm going to look. <laughs> <laughs>